Welcome to another Get to Know the Pro video. Today we're talking to Josue, one of our newer UAG members uh, in 2021. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of the group. So uh, I think we have to start with uh, J House, Josue. Uh, which is it? Why is it? I think that's the first thing everybody's going to ask. So we might as well get it out of the way. Okay, so uh, my name is Josue, that's how it's pronounced, but um, my nickname is J-House. I mean, they're kind of spelled similar. Uh, there are some letters that are arranged differently, but uh, back in middle school, it's where my one of my friends, uh, well, one of my teachers actually kind of misspelled my name, so my friend pointed it out and thought J-House was a cool nickname, so he decided to call me that, and ever since then, everyone I knew um, in high school just called me that. Even a few teachers just called me J-House. And I thought it was cool. Everyone would just point it out, be like, hey, J House or what's up, J House or just rolled with it just because it made me uh, it made me uh, kind of popular, I want to say. <laughs> it's kind of gangster. Uh, um, yeah, it sounds like a, it sounds like a fantastic uh, rapper name. <laughs> yeah, so I, I dig it. <laughs> Why don't you uh, tell everybody, uh, you know, a little bit about your, you know, business name, where you're from, a little bit about your business. Okay, so again, uh, my business name is J House Lawn Care. Uh, we're located here in Fontana, California. It's about an hour away of LA. And um, so I will start in my business back uh, three years ago. I um, had about I had just lost my job. I did security for a couple of years coming, coming out of high school. Uh, my dad pushed me to do security just because he was doing some part-time security because uh, he is a landscaper. So sometimes when um, business was slow for him, he also did that. So I went into security full-time, did it for a couple of years, but ended up losing my job because the security company, um, I lost the contract they had with a, with a company they did. I did a security for a bank. So losing that kind of bummed me out. But at the same time, um, I asked my dad if um, he had any ideas of where I could work for security, but he just decided to tell me and let me know that I could do landscaping or just some lawn maintenance. And he offered to give me, um, or let me borrow actually his equipment because he does have a few extra mowers, trimmers, blowers. So I did that. And he right away hooked me up with this uh, property management company. Um, that uh, manages rental property. So with them, I was able to right away take on about 30 properties to maintain. And that's how I got started. Wow. So, mm -hmm. did, and you know, your dad was a, a, a landscaper before, but did you, did you have any experience working with him while you were in high school or did you just start this cold? Yeah, I did a, in a high school, middle school during the summers. I would go and help him out just for some extra cash or sometimes it kind of just made me <laughs> just to help out. So that's how I had that experience. And I kind of disliked it just because it was in the summer and it was very hot. So that was tough on me, but the money of course made it worth it. <laughs> yeah, always. So you've yeah. been doing this for three years now. You started with, um, uh, a rental property or a company that manages rental property. So that's always good to start with multiple properties. It's yeah. a lot easier than having to start one by one. So that was fantastic. How mm. has your business uh, grown uh, over the last uh, three years? So the first year I was doing that management company, I was able to go up to like 60 properties with them. But um, the properties were about an hour away. So they were all scattered and it just at the same time, I felt like I wasn't improving in my business just because I didn't want to be stuck um, just working for this uh, management company. I wanted to advertise. I wanted to market my business and get new, new customers, especially near my area. So with all those properties, it kind of just made it hard for me to um, take on new, new customers. So what I just did was slowly started ask, telling them to just give the properties to another a landscape company and I started taking on my own so the and it took a year about me to lose all of them and just stop working for the company so that's how I started to uh, grow my business especially by adding it to the Google my business uh, I made a listing and that really 
took off and made my business go quickly. Well, that's great to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, what Share what your biggest challenge has been, either getting into the business or you know running your business for the last three years. Uh, I want to say just knowing what kind of jobs I like to do, um, figuring out if the job is uh, too big or too small for me. So I've been, I've taken on some jobs uh, that are too big and I've kind of ended up just not doing a good job just because I had to, I needed employees and employees was kind of a struggle for me to have, especially on a full-time basis. I kind of just had employees like once a week or so having someone that would come um, once a week was just difficult to find someone. So that made me on my part really lose my quality of work in big uh, commercial properties. So you you have a target uh, property size now or a target list yeah. of services that fit what you do well? Yeah, so I try to take on properties that are about uh, take me just by myself uh, an hour or less. Uh, most of that would be just residential property. This, those are my favorite, the ones where I take about uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just because I'm in and out. I can make sure everything I do is taken care of, the mowing, the edging, any um, bushes that need to be trimmed, any uh, weeding, any weeds that I need to pull. So any of that that I can take care of uh, quickly just makes it um, easier for me, just because also I don't like staying at a property for a while or or I could kind of get bored or kind of anxious of just like being stuck here for a while I'm just like uh, it just kind of mentally tires me out after being at a property for a while yeah I could understand that I guess um so where do you want to go what's the what's the big plan uh for okay. you know J House so right now I'm a, a solo guy just working uh by myself but I do want to go into about three three crews i'm i'm targeting just uh, my city which is fontana so i really feel like i've branded myself well i have my trucks uh, um, with magnets with stickers that really show um, my business logo my number my website all that they need to contact me so with that i just hope to really uh, be ingrained in people's mind when they think of a, a gardener a landscaper so with that, I do want to uh, bring in a full-time employee, but I'm taking some, some customers in slowly so that I can charge uh, profitably and be able to pay for a, a, re a reliable employee. So that's that. And then slowly get another truck and just try to repeat the process that um, I'm doing right now. What's over that time? There, there has to have been something crazy, uh, you know, or that that's happened. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you in uh, on the job in the last couple of years? Uh, just uh, when I when I'm weed whacking, or yeah, I'm usually weed whacking because in the spring I do take on some really tall weeds and grass. So a lot of weed whacking, I end up just flinging towards the street or towards the neighbor in the middle of the job so neighbors come out and start cussing at me and just looking down on me just because you know I might just be the gardener or something like that so they think they have the right to cuss at me or scream at me and tell me hey this and that and I'm not even finished with the job I'm obviously gonna uh, pick it up I'm gonna finish uh, what I have to do to make sure I uh, please you know my customers and the neighbor but usually a lot of that I get <laughs> is neighbors or people getting mad <laughs> I remember you and I had a conversation uh, a little while ago about uh, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. You had a concern about the reputation that a lot of uh, land, you know, lawn care landscapers have uh, in the in the public uh, that they're they're seen as you know the gardeners, like the stereotypical gardener, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to a business professional. Do you find that that's still the case for you? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, with a lot of uh, customers, they're kind of been, um, they're used to a lot of gardeners uh, giving uh, free services, and then they expect other companies to do the same, like they expect you to offer free fertilizing, um, just any type of service that they ask, anything they ask for, they expect it to be free. 
and I have to just uh, tell them, no, it's, you know, it's extra. I'm part of my company and you know, I have to charge extra because of this material, this and that. And they just expect all of us to just offer it for free or to offer it at a certain price. And uh, it sucks sometimes because, you know, I do want to, I do want to service the, the customer just because they are in my area and I'm looking to grow. But then again, you know, everyone is, you know, willing to pay what they want or, or feels like they're entitled to, you know, what they ask for and stuff like that. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Knowing your worth is important. And uh, it, sometimes yeah. it takes a little while, but if you stick to your guns, people mm -hmm. understand that there's a, there, there's a reason that there's a price for something and that's because you do it well. Um, yeah. And then it'll take a while. And if you start discounting and do offering, do offer the free stuff, it's a slippery slope. It's hard to sort of climb back out of that habit and their expectations around it. Yeah. Do you get any personal time off or are you working all the time? What do you do when you're not working? Uh, okay. So I try to get um, time off. Usually uh, I have a wife. So me and her just go out, enjoy some delicious food um, near the beach. Usually we go like to walk, walk on the beach and enjoy the view. I think that's what mostly we do. Or we try to just find places where um, they have really delicious food. So I think I, I guess that is uh, my hobby, eating. Yeah. <laughs> eating something that's different, something that just has all kinds of flavor. My parents are Italian. I grew up uh, in a household where eating was what we did 24 hours a day. So I get <laughs> it. I've been there. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Josue, it was fantastic uh, talking to you. Thanks for taking a minute to let everybody get to know you and your business a little bit better. If you're in the uh, Southern California area, uh, give my man Jay House here a call, uh, connect, say hi. Uh, obviously, he's new to the UAG program, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So uh, if you're catching this at the beginning of 2021, watch for his content that I'll be putting out on his uh, channel uh, within the community. Uh, if it's later in the year or future years, go down and take a look at all of his content uh, or down on our mobile app, uh, which is free to download uh, from the Google Store or uh, iTunes. Uh, thanks, Oswey. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.